Hey everyone, I'm back, and I'm still painting, I think this is number three, yeah, this is number three, still painting number three, and then I'll move on to number, number four, and then we'll, well, we'll try to do the background anyway, um, I'm actually trying use up as much of this paint. I've mixed way too much of this and I always do that but I'm trying to use up as much of it as possible. So that is what we are doing right now. And I apologize if I sound a little funny today. My allergies are really bad. But that's to be expected when it's like hot, cold, hot, cold, weather-wise, you know? So anyway. Is that all it is? Okay. Anyway. Three down, one to go. And we're not going to this. Hmm. Uh, give me a second to find a spot <laughs> that's clean on here that I can use. And the reason I'm doing this is, you know, when you're dealing with any kind of, like you're painting and you have this open area, you know, if you paint it on this surface and leave it to dry on this surface, it's going to stick to the surface and then you're going to be if you're lucky, just picking off um, pieces of napkin. If you're unlucky, you're gonna have to <laughs> you're gonna rip your piece of cardstock apart. So um, that's why I paint it on here, and then while the paint is still wet, I pick it up and I move it elsewhere to dry, so that any of the excess paint is left on the napkin. And I've learned this the hard way. So, which is the way I learned a lot of things in mixed media and art and crafting because, you know, I didn't, I, you know, I guess I paint a lot sloppier than I think I do. <laughs> or, you know, so I just wanted to give you that little tip there and I'm having fun doing this. this is, I'm hoping that the camera is picking up some of this and that you're able to see it. And it's not just me narrating. And I probably don't use these brushes the way I'm supposed to, but who cares? They work, and that's all I care about. <laughs> okay, and so I'm going to pick this up, and I'm going to move it. So it can dry there, and all right. So I'm going to wash this brush. The next part I'm going to do is, I think I'm going to do the background. Is it dry? Yeah, it's dry. I think I'm going to do the background. So give me a second to clean off my brush. Anyway. I'm going to move this out of the way. Alright. So this. I am looking. Huh. I'm probably going to be like that. Okay. Now. I need my pencil. Hopefully, why is it wet? Okay. How did it get wet? Okay. 
Oh, well. Again. Just a second. Not my phone, but still. It was just water, so it's not gonna hurt anything. And it's on a spare piece of paper that I have, so who cares? Anyway. I like I said, this aside, maybe I'll be able to work it into something else in a little bit. Um Okay. Let's see what happens with some metallic silver paint. This is a moon, if y'all haven't guessed. And I'm trying to get it as like roundish as I can. Trying to follow the lines, but it's not as easy with a paintbrush as it is with like a crayon or something. So This is teal, but hey, hey, sorry, I'm making noises here. I'm scooping up some, and okay, here we go. That's a little bit better. Okay, maybe there's a little bit, bit too bright for my taste, although it doesn't seem to be making a difference. So maybe I'll have to do a second layer. I guess it is making a little difference. Okay, what is this? It's a little bit. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing. Maybe I should move over here. This is not so quite, not quite so bright. And I'm just gonna grab a little bit more of the black mix. Mix it in here. I just don't, because I'm gonna do like a glaze of liquid pearls over it. I don't want it like super super bright silver. So see I told you I tried to find a way to use more of that paint up. <laughs> and I don't know if any of you know that you can use perfect pearls, as, like not perfect pearls, liquid pearls as a paint, but you can. I've done it before. I like to use it whenever I do a moon. Cause it just looks cool. <laughs> <laughs> so that's my moon. And get off my brush. Give me just a second. Okay, I'm now laying on my stomach to paint because my legs were starting to hurt from sitting like that. So, now is when it gets a little bit interesting. Because I am going to try to do some water here. But, as you can tell, it is nighttime in my picture. It's a little bit too much violet, but it always comes out like a ton at a time. And, let's see. Maybe just a tiny, tiny bit of black. I love mixing these three colors together. And yes, I'm already got paint on my fingers. It's all good. Okay. Let's 
let's see if this works. I'm gonna move that up higher. Okay, a little bit more. Let's see. I'm gonna move this up higher. So this is water, basically. Wonders never cease. Let's go something like that. Ooh. I like mixing paint. I like it when I get some like weird color mixture and why is this coming out so dark? Oh my the blue. I mean I'm probably not gonna be able to see any of this from the shadow box anyway, but in case you can I am putting it in here. So, you can all enjoy watching me paint this. the blue then. <laughs> blue is so bright, but when you blend it with the rest, it becomes less bright. Or at least appears to become less bright. Mm. Anyway, now. Wait, no, my brush. And I gotta start another one. 